Hello and welcome to another video. On this video I will give a read of this car. We will read and write the issue of this car. It's a Peugeot Expert. It's from 2019. The engine is 2.0 with 110 kilowatt. It's around 150 horsepower. Okay, it's a Euro 60 shit. And as I promised you in one video when I scan this car with launch I said I will make a video when I uh, delete the AdBlue and I will show you how you can read and write this issue. It's quite complicated on this car and I will show you also why. For this job I used Flex. Flex it doesn't have this kind of problem but like uh, every programmer no one is perfect. I will show you what I'm talking about. We start the, the software. I will try to make also screen recording. I will start the software and we go from there. And Flex is connected. Software is started. As I said, I will make also screen recording. We type here Peugeot. I see this one, it's expert. With 150 horsepower. So we go on expert. Is this one. The engine is AH01. Pay attention, the engine issue is DMC 6.2A, okay, and this is not true. I record this video because I want to give you a tip how you can read and write this issue because you don't find it here. Okay, status ready, connect, we switch on. Okay, it connects to the car, you notice we extract all this data, the hardware and everything. Now we'll proceed to read this issue. We'll try to read this map, let's see if it's possible to read it or not. Okay, I have switch on. And Let's go OK. It tries to connect to the ECU. And bam! Error. You cannot read this type of ECU. What you'll do in this case? This is advice for beginner. But you should don't do like I'm doing, OK? Don't take my fucking way. Because I'm crazy and I take too much risk, OK? You go out. Till here is nothing wrong, you go out and check the issue. You pay attention, you check the issue. You have DCM 7.1A, okay? Not 6.2 or 6.1. You go back. You come to your car and you try to find this issue because you select correct your engine type, your car, but this one is for nine people, nine person. And you don't have really the, exactly the engine issue then we go back we delete this one here and we try to search our car now dcm 7.1 and as i said our engine is like this one the same ECU type it was in the engine mount in this Toyota. Okay. You go here and you search for your car. Then what to see? The car is not here. We don't have a Peugeot Expert with 2 liter here. Go back. The only one what will fit in our selection is the DS7, the Citroen, and this is of course exactly what I will do. I will go on this car, I switch on, and let's try to see if we have communication and if we can read this issue. As I said, I don't suggest you to take this risk, it's just for educational purpose, just for information. It's not my problem if you fuck the issue, okay? You fuck the issue, you pay yourself. No risk, no money. 
go next. You can have only the re virtual reading on this issue. What we will do, we'll connect with the issue. And we hope for the best, or? Okay, switch off. And bam, we do have connection. What is thought here? Successfully, okay. And the next step, what it is? Of course, to download the map, or? This will be first reading. We download the map. File is ready. You want to save it? Yes, we gave a save. Okay, now we save the file. Okay, and the file is finished. You noticed we have 13.8 volts because I start another car outside. You should have a power supply. And what do you believe? I am crazy enough to write this issue or not? Of course we give a try. Pay attention, it writing there is this issue is locked, yes? You switch on. I will load the data. I said to you, we modified the AdBlue NOX, all of this stuff. This uh, error belongs also to AdBlue. We open, we upload the file, we switch on, and we proceed to write the issue. Let's see if our flex can do a good job or not. You should have patience. You should have a good battery, good battery on your laptop. Okay. Or battery maintainer will be the best, but always I start the car like this one and I never had problem. The procedure is quite long, but as I said, you should be patient and uh, try to don't touch too much the hardware and the stuff because if you disconnect something now, you are really fucked. And in the meantime, we can speak about other things. If you need service support for AdBlue, DPF, EGR, all of these shitty things, you can write me. The price started from two coffees. I will leave also a link for buy me a coffee or this PayPal account. Because all you suggest me to leave this uh, PayPal account to make donation, I never do it like that. But if you want to do it, it's up to you. I don't request such of things. But if you want to have uh, services from me, of course you should make a donation for this channel. Because I cannot lose the time doing this all this stuff for free. And after that, 90% uh, from these people, they never come back or they didn't tell me uh, thank you for my services. I don't want to do it anymore. Because I'm helping a lot of people, sending uh, different repairing... Uh, data and I said to you many times I found this when they sell it on the forum or they request to send the money on PayPal and all this stuff. If I send you and if I help you for free, why you do this shit? At least be fucking smart and change your ID or your email address. You know, don't send me the same address. But anyway, as I said, I closed this helping procedure. I, I don't want to help for free anymore because I saw the people doesn't show respect. And I'm so sorry because I know I said 90% and then 10% from other people. They are very good people. And uh, most of them, they want to send me donation or send me money through PayPal. I said, no, it's not necessary. You know, I want to help you and that's it. From now on, at least uh, I should help this channel. And this is the way how you can also help this channel because all these programmers, they are f expensive. Okay. If you don't need my services, I don't have a problem with you. But if you want to repair something or have same data, of course, I will help you. But as I said, it starts from two coffee and it's up, uh, depends on which service you want to have it, okay? And let's speak also a little bit about Flex because I was asked many times why I take the um, Flex. I take the Flex because I have it only good experience with him. I have it also with Benve on the begin uh, problem with coding. But I tell you honest, when you have a new issue, almost all the time Flex, it is the first one who have this protocol. Not, not always, but almost the time. A few years ago, I remember when I read with Flex Japanese car through OBD. Believe me or not, another programmer, they didn't have this protocol inside. I didn't speak about OBD, I speak also about boot reading. 
you don't have it, uh, the protocol there. And I, I managed to read with Flex through OBD, Mazda, Nissan, and many Japanese cars, also Toyota. And this made me to believe it's one of the best programmer. You, of course, you have also other programmers and all of them, they are good, but this is why, uh, take for me, this is why I like it. It's up to you which programmer you want to buy. I bought from the company Magic Sport. If you want to buy a programmer like this one, all you try to see from where the seller it is, if it's a serious seller. In my case, I will prefer to buy only from the sellers what the Flex uh, company recommended. I don't want to make experiment when it's uh, about my money because these things is expensive. The programmer itself is not expensive. It's 1200 euro with VAT, but if you buy the license after that, you will see the cheapest one is around 4000 euro and it goes up to with the master version for license will be around 7400 euro. In the meantime, our program will make a good job. It's to 75%. Don't try to read this uh, issue with clone. If you don't want to be if you don't want to expend your money, if you don't want to cry, because I do have experiment where I the issue in the past with KISS. I have the KISS V2, the original one, and also Kitag. I don't use any more Alien Tech Company. I have my reason why I don't use it. How long this programmer will make a good job, I will stay to, to him, I will stay to Flex. Uh, I do have also another programmer, but most of the time I use this one because I want to be on the safety part. I want to make my job fast. Why you should work double or triple? for same money. This is also the reason why this programmer they are so expensive because you want quality you must to pay, you know. Should switch on because you want to go on economy mode. To don't leave the ECU sleeping you can make flashing okay because the BSI will go sleep after that. It's a same procedure when you want to make update on the modules or if you want to write a new key you should press on hazard light and playing with lights then you'll keep your BSI weak it doesn't go sleep. Just coding it tells us to switch off and press OK. It's exactly what we do. Switch on again. You should be also patient because you noticed the unlock of the issue, it was successfully. Now it comes the second part of these things, okay, you will actually uh, write the map, take your time, don't be scared, just follow the steps and uh, you will be saved, okay. This is my way, this is the procedure, I will do this issue, it's not the first time when I read and write this issue, when I do it first time I was also a little bit uh, like uh, confused, I said should I take the risk I should, or should I not take the risk, I'm or maybe not and on the end I said okay I take the risk because I don't have another option, I didn't have another programmer. You can leave me a comment below and you can tell me which programmer you use for this type of issue, for this, exactly this type of issue, okay? This is also good to use always the power supply. I don't want to skip these things because I have a lot of beginners. Imagine you said, okay, I will have a new battery and uh, you make this procedure. What happens? Actually, when he connects first time the flex, he will write another uh, data just to unlock the issue, okay? Actually, he have two writing uh, map inside, okay? Two writing procedure. And this takes time. If you have normal battery, you don't have power supply. This is really bad because you should have always at least 13 volts, okay? If you do something quick, like let's say coding, and you use a diagnostic tool, it's something different. But when you flash and you, when you erase the issue and you try to write and your voltage goes, let's say under 11 volts, then you are really f***ed. It should not go under 12.5 volts, but if it goes to 11 volts, then you are really f***ed. You have cars like BMW or Mercedes and all of, most of these cars, you know, also the diagnostic, they will tell you to have at least 13.5 uh, volts. You will see at this moment I have 13.9, 13.8, that it's up to 13.5. It means the alternator of another car, it pumps enough. I must to skip from here because I have only 20% of battery. I will come back when the procedure is almost finished because I want to make finish this video, okay? I will leave the desktop recording to go forward and I will come back when writing is finished. And the procedure is almost finished. We are on 98%. 99 you said already we don't have the head blow over there. I hear the pump on the trunk, it connects to the car. We switch off. 
it will make the coding again. You should wait a little bit. You saw it uh, was writing here successfully, but you should wait till this map doesn't flash anymore. Okay, when it's tapped now, like this one, it's finished. Procedure is, uh, is done, you see, success. Okay, what we do now? We switch off the hazard light. We don't have the... This will be also another things what uh, we'll delete now. Okay, switch off again. I disconnect the programmer. And now the next step is to start the car. And wow, the car running. And what is the fucking AdBlue system? It's not there. Another check a light is from reset the service, reset all these shitty things. Okay. This is my way. How I will do this? Let me to close the engine. Okay, now it's much better. We have engine shutting down. Okay, this is my procedure as I said. You can do this, you can trust Flex, it's not first time when I do these things, I've been doing this many times. I hope the video it was interesting for you, I hope you learned something from this video. Leave me a comment below and tell me which programmer you use for this type of cars or this type of ECU. And as I said, if you need support for AdBlue, EGR and all of this stuff, you can contact me, okay? And I said I will close the video, but I said, okay, let's scan the car and show you what the problem it is, because I don't want to have uh, comments after that, yeah, you don't make a good job and it's the same fault. You notice the head blue is not anymore here. This is the problem. Okay. It must be done the service and reset the service. This is the main reason, but I want to show you the engine issue. It doesn't have faults. Now I will close the video here. And like always, thank you for watching. Bye bye.